M0 FXP Bofun K61 Pro. Let's add a repeater to a memory channel. A couple of basics here. VFO memory. Frequency mode. Frequency is VFO, means you can type a frequency. Channel mode. Channel mode, you can change memory Three, channels. Two. Up and down, or you can even go like so, and, it, and it'll go to it, 001, 002. A and B, so you've got two halves to the radio, and it does do dual watch. The, re the, power of that thing. the red arrow goes up and down, okay? See, up and down, up and down. Nice signal meter there. This is a seek or search button. Look, seeking. It's found, that's my hubnet node very near me. Exit button is here. Ex use that quite a lot. So you're going to let me exit. There you are. Brief press of the PTT, and it's come out of that. You can do single screen if you hold down the A and B. You have to hold it, and then it just suddenly, there you are, gets rid of one half. And it will display the frequency and the channel name. So the first thing we do is go into VFO mode. Channel mode. Frequency mode. And we'll go to the A band. We'll type in GB3WR, so we'll go 1, 4, 5, 600. Then we'll go menu and number 5. Now you can go up and down the list with the up and down arrows, but that's a shortcut to your CTCSS that you need to transmit to open the repeater. So we'll press menu again, and then we'll, if it says off, don't worry, just move it up and down until you see the one you need. My one is 94.8, then press menu. Okay, the next one is 11, so we can just go up to 11 if we want. And we've got the shift direction, we'll go menu to, to tell it we're gonna change it. Then we'll go up plus or minus, we want minus. Press menu. And we need to tell it how much to shift, so just go up one to 12. And we've got it there, 0, 600, and press menu. You've got to get all the noughts in first, and then the 600. It's quite... See that? There you go. If you go too many, let's see if that went in. Do it again. I, keep, I got this wrong last time. 0, 0, 0, 6, 0, 0, menu. There it is. That's the one you want. And if it, if it was a 70 sems repeater... You want 7.600, bit fiddly, but doable. So now if we exit, we should see a, a minus shift. We can set the transmit power, which is number eight. You can just press menu, then eight, or go up and down. So menu eight, and I'm gonna leave it high. But to change it, you press menu and look low or high. And I've tested it, it's doing nearly six watts, which I'm quite pleased about. So there you are. So now we can uh, just go M0 FXB test. And we're not going to make it because we're inside my shack. If, if we had an external antenna, we probably would. So to save to a channel, we go menu, and then it's number 17. You go up and down or type 17. Press menu again. Let's choose the channel number. you got up to 640 showing here. So we'll go up one. And what normally happens, if the channel is blank, you won't see CH there. So if we just hold our finger, go up several, normally, there you are, it's gone. So menu, when you don't see CH, it's a blank channel, but you can just overwrite a channel, um, you know, no problem if you want, just by just selecting the one that's there. So I'm going to go to number two. Then we're going to go, uh, up one again, number two menu and that's already saved if we exit then go to memory mode which is here the big vm channel mode and go up one two number two there you are and so we haven't given it a name yet we've just saved it to a memory channel we can give it a name as you can see so if we leave it on number two there is one thing to select as well you go menu 44 and we need to tell it if we want it to display. If we go menu, the frequency and the name, which is the one I'll choose, or just the frequency or just the name. The name's really small, so I think you may as well do frequency or name, but obviously the, the text is the largest when you just use frequency.
but frequency and name menu it's okay so that's gonna when we add the name because we still haven't added the name yet and uh, we need to keep it on memory channel number two it will just show above it the name that we're going to program so menu number one is channel name so you just go menu there it is there at number one you can go up and down so go menu again it's going to change the name on the channel that you, that was currently on the screen okay if that makes sense so to start typing the name so it does start to show some chinese characters all you do it's quite small but look look up here where it says a b c and press the hash and look you can actually type chinese which i think is very cool anyway go to capitals you've got lowercase and numbers so we're going to go to capitals and then now it's like an old phone so we'll go h and then t u cool my eyes are rubbish then b it's, it's a lovely looking screen this and and then we put in the words hubnet but it's actually not hubnet but we're, it's still showing you how to do it actually it'll be nice to know how to delete let's uh, let's work that one out looks like the the naught is taking it to the right and oh yeah the exit is delete so let's put do what i was meant to do which is uh g b three oh we need to push the hash to get the number hash again <clears throat> yeah i think that's very intuitive works really well actually gb3 then uh, it was wr wasn't it so press the hash fast forward if it's a bit boring w and then r and that's it menu exit we've already told it to display it so that i think that looks really good it's a bit small i wish it was bigger but it's a nice clear display you can see the power is high we've got a minus shift it's not really displaying the tone uh, it does when you transmit it says ct look because we didn't turn the receive tone on look and it goes red and you've got the nice led <clears throat> i mean someone messaged me the other day and said to me chinese junk i'm like what are you talking about this is not junk anyway twin pin connector here usb c charging there and yeah if you pay you extra you get the cradle this was 19 pound delivered this is a solid device with a really long lasting battery full backlit keypad it even does frequency search and it does ctc scan as well okay this is not junk anyone that says that these are junk come on then exit um is just being rude they're, they're just they're just saying bad things because they like saying bad things these work really well the only criticism of this radio the only criticism of this radio is that they should do the am fix just like they have for the quashang radios <clears throat> so that the when we're listening to airband that it sounds clear that's the only criticism otherwise i think it's a fantastic device and how can you, you know, 19 pound, come on. Right, you get a beautiful colour screen radio that actually works really well. And dual watch is menu 42. And then go menu again. And if you turn that on, well, it says double weight. So that's the one you want, really. It, may, it doesn't mean you hear them at the same time, but it will monitor too. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. I'll be making a video using the programming software next and of course that is a lot easier and you just need a bowfin cable that you plug in here bye for now seven three